Hello, my brother. Okay, this is a new idea. We had a time when we were um, recording our phone calls to each other, our conversations, because we thought they were important. <laughs> but I have a new idea that maybe I'll make a video to you and that Maybe eventually they'll be worth sharing, but I really enjoy talking with you and sharing things with you. I know you seriously read and you seriously watch. Um, you know, I love that you talk to people and go to shows. You have good friends. I feel like you're shaping this great life um, that you enjoy. Um, and so I like, I think of you a lot, but what seems to be happening right now is really strange. And I, I feel like I'm aware of it because I'm a father. So, you know, you know, seven years into that, it's, oh, that's a, that's a Roman lifetime. What can I say? Seven years into being a father, I feel like I'm kind of like, a new person. It's 2024. I'm firmly into like looking at the world as though my child is going to be 25. You know, like what is going on? And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting to be 50. But what I'm trying to see and what I'm trying to communicate with you, because it helps me understand when I think about communicating with you, is What's happening right now in the world? The question. Thinking of having a discourse with you, my brother, Chase, helps me understand what's happening in the world as my boy's future becomes more important. So, a couple things, and I want to focus on, you know, three videos, and that's part of this too, is that we're sharing content and I want to try to focus on three videos and I'll try to figure out how to link to them because, you know, I'm not a podcaster or a YouTube content creator yet. And I don't know that I want to be, but I can do this. So one, Jon Stewart is back and he, he never went away. He just did other important work. And that work was very absorbing. You know, I think that involved family time for him. Uh, he helped the vets. Uh, he was really involved with seeing that the 9-11 people got what they needed. The people, the responders. Um, so he did some really deep political work. You know, he made um, some films which had consequences that he tried to be responsible for. Anyway, I admire Jon Stewart. He's back. He has an interview with um, the editor at The Economist, and I wish I could remember her name right now, but that is a very interesting conversation about geopolitical dynamics right now, the political stage, the global political stage, and what's happening with ideologies as various bubbles emerge into dominance and the bubbles of dominance in our global ideological um, realm that are that are going to play out, and that as a privileged American, part of like what I have to say is like the Death Star of you know we're the American Empire that's dying, and. And uh, I'm trying to understand how, what's happening as the American empire is dying. And the interview with John and the editor of The Economist is very, I think, astute. And then there are two other videos. And one is I think an important layer of the content creator uh, phenomenon 
uh, she digests Russell Brand. She analyzes his career over the last 15 years and she shows how he went from A to B to C. And so you can kind of like come upon her video and understand how Russell Brand has changed and and what that means for the people who know what he's been doing and saying and how he's been influencing ideology. So that's the second video, her video about Russell Brand. And I just think it's an interesting tier in the content creator world because she's uh, helping us understand the arc of an influencer. Now, you could, I mean, Vladimir Putin is an influencer, but he's a politician, he's a dictator, he's a Russian president, he's, okay, so we have influencers, and then we have politicians and leaders, and those are different things, but, you know, I do believe one reason it's important that Jon Stewart is back on the scene is because Steve Bannon is still on the scene doing what he's doing because Trump pardoned him. This is a man that stole millions of dollars. Uh, he's done things that are criminal, but he's just doing his thing now, drumming up whatever. Uh, he, he sees himself as a righteous hero uh, for the U.S. Uh, as he galvanizes right-wing leaders across the world towards some fascist utopia. I I don't understand wh how Steve Bannon thinks he's doing a good thing for the planet. I mean, he sees himself as a crusader, like someone who is rallying the troops for a better world. This is so strange to me. But Jon Stewart seems to be like a really nice balance in terms of the kind of reach he has, the people who listen to him, the people who take him seriously, and then they go and do what they do. And so Jon Stewart and Steve Bannon seem to be like um, important commentators, important leaders in the influencer sphere. Um, and the third video... <laughs> is more something that I'd like to bring to your attention just because <clears throat> I think it shows how this content creator universe that we're moving into, and by that I mean <clears throat> content creation seems to be more and more of a way to make a living, a way to be someone, uh, to create content and curate content, uh, that that is useful to other people, as in terms of alternative media. And that is this video about T-Rex. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, I've loved dinosaurs all my life, and suddenly now there's this very intelligent, articulate content creator who is really making it very clear to me in a way that I don't know that any book could. The 13 families of T-Rex. And I mean, there have been many amazing videos about dinosaurs because of, you know, YouTube and I follow Curiosity and Nebula. Um, but the way that we have access to information is new. That is kind of what I'm trying to point at. And this is coming on 10 minutes and maybe that's enough because it's a long time, kind of. So three videos, John Stewart, economist, the editor of The Economist, he's new on The Daily Show again, balancing Bannon and all the havoc he's been wreaking, an assessment of Russell Brand, and that kind of shows you where where we've been in the last 10 years in terms of like the US going mad, um, like truly mad, truly, this is a new level of mad that we're trying to maybe 
elect this madman king. I mean, he was the mad king. And somehow Dr. Fauci had to like restrain him and help us through COVID in the way that the doctor had to restrain the king in that film, The Mad King, about, you know, the British um, uh, monarch that went mad over losing America. Um, you know, anyway, so, but, but the fact that we're like this far away from maybe having Donald Trump as the leader of, um, of the United States again, that is so deeply disturbing, deeply disturbing. And that's the thing is like, there are people in this country who, who don't agree with me. I mean, that's weird. Like, I, that's part of the schizophrenic madness of what's happening in America right now is that those people are drinking some Kool-Aid that's worse than the Mormonism I grew up on. <sighs> and and then the, the third video is uh, dinosaurs. Um, and I'll provide the links below if I ever get this up uh, on YouTube. But this is a 10-minute video to you, bro. I mean, it's 11.30 now. So I'm signing off. And I hope to do this again. And I'll send me a 10-minute video. Maybe? Okay. I'm, I can't edit anything right now because that doesn't make any sense. But maybe I'll get better at that.